Hello, I'm Mark Koschwitz, and you are watching Shoreline Music Monthly. Uh, got a great episode this month. Um, it's been a busy month for me. I'd like to just take one quick second to thank Mrs. Wendy Koschwitz for making me amazingly happy. This is the first episode as a married man. Um, we're going to have uh, Justin Vood Good from uh, the sanctuary at Shepherd Field coming down to talk about the local music tribal summit coming up in September. Um, but first, my guest this month, if I'm still a little distracted from the whirlwind of the last week, it's great to have such a, a talented and professional uh, guest on this month. I'd like to welcome Jim Shepley to Shoreline Music Monthly. Thanks, Mark, for having me come down. I really appreciate it. It's good to be here. It is absolutely my pleasure. Um, as you know, I'm, I'm not really a stranger to the Jim Shepley band shows. Mm -hmm. I enjoy them very much, always a rollicking good time. Um, but I, I guess you're going to be uh, maybe unwrapping a couple songs of a, of a slightly different flavor tonight? Or? Well, you know, I play out in kind of in a known context, and I'm going to do a few things today that are a little different than what I normally do, for sure. Okay. The other side of Jim Shepley, if there is one. <laughs> well, if it's anything like the side that I'm quite familiar with, it's going to be a wonderful show, I'm sure. Um, now, this, this show is, strangely enough, a, a songwriter's show, a, a show about songwriting somewhat, by a, hosted by a guy who's never written one. <laughs> um, so I'm, oh, I'm always a little curious as to the folks who actually do write songs how that works, what, you know, what, everybody seems to have their own. You know, some songs take forever to put together. You get an idea, the music comes, the words come, you finally get it together. Other songs pop out in 10 or 15 minutes and they're all complete. It, it's, it's a process you never can totally figure out how it's gonna happen, it just happens. Now, are you a melody guy first or? You know, I probably come up with the chords and the melody first, generally speaking. Okay. And then and the then, blistering guitar solo comes later. <laughs> and then labor with the uh, words and the concept. If I could be you, then you know who I would feel your pain and make you understood those that cannot see what you're going through, make them understand why you do the things you do. If I could be you If I could feel The emptiness you do Then I'd fill you up with love Through and through Then I'd wash away Everything your eyes see 
then my would open and set me free from this helplessness surrounds me every day but still pointing me to help you find your way if my eyes could see I can lay me down Then I'd be bound To be the bridge for you To reach your higher ground Then I'd carry you To God's grace above And then lift you up To find could lay me down oh, if I I could be you oh, if I I could If I could be You've been in Connecticut for some time. I have. Um, but I know you didn't, you didn't grow up here. I grew up in Daytona Beach, Florida mostly. Um, and I, born in Maryland, but I grew up in Daytona Beach, mostly Florida, yeah. Oh, so you moved around a bit. I did. And I, I guess at, at some point or another, I, you had a fairly talented musical neighborhood you lived in as well, I guess. Well, you know, I was living in Daytona, and then some folks moved into town that I was uh, very um, happy to meet and get to hang with, the Allman Brothers, Greg and Dwayne. And um, it was a very enriching experience for me, and I'm very honored and humbled that they have um, been kind enough to mention me over the years as some portion of their uh, musical success. That is a wonderful thing, because I, I lived and breathed the Allman Brothers for at least uh, probably a good chunk of, <laughs> of my life. Um, fabulous band. Um, and that was teen years kind of thing? It, it was, I, I knew Dwayne up until his untimely death, um, but I did meet him in my early teen years and we remained friends until he yeah, that unfortunately was, that passed was, away. That was tragic. It yeah. was. It was terrible. Um, and then from Daytona Beach to Connecticut or were there other stops along the way? I came up to Connecticut to actually uh, work in, of all things, a band that was um, in, at Yale University. Um, that was doing all original material. A lot of it was mine. Some of it was some other people, and that's what brought me up here. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Uh, what was the what was the name of that? Jim Ground Band. Oh, okay. We did all originals and played all over Yale and that kind of thing. And then you just uh, found the area to your liking, I guess, and and then I was out in, in Moody's, Connecticut, one day, and I said, "Gee, this is a nice area," so I decided to move out there. Nice. And here I am. Yeah, Connecticut's funny, and you know, it's for such a small state, it's there's all different kinds of areas of Connecticut with the shoreline and you know, the areas along the river. And you know, speaking of Connecticut, um, it, it has one of the best music communities of any place I've ever lived. I will say that. Aside from the you know, physical geography, the music community here is just phenomenal. I, I tell you, when uh, I've moved to this particular area of Connecticut just about not even quite seven years ago, and, and actually was the this, the, the genesis for this show really mm -hmm. what resulted in in just some of the open mics I would pop in and some of the amazing songwriters that were seemed to be 
all, all over the place. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, your show, you've had, you can see from your show, you've had so many talented people on. They, They're everywhere. It, you know, it, it, that's <laughs> a good thing. It that's is. a good thing. And, uh, and I, I consider you certainly one of them. Well, thank you. And uh, I see you've, you've brought some friends with you. I have. I've brought my lovely daughter, Katie, who's going to sing with me. Very nice. And my music partner uh, in more ways than one, um, Susan Graham. Excellent. Well, I will, should probably get out of your way and, uh, and let you folks do your thing. Daytona Beach, Florida, next stop on my trip. Make my living shooting a pool stick. Walk into your town, look on the corner. Saw Frank's pool hall, went all over. Walked inside, I picked up my cue. Anybody wanna shoot a game or two? It is a pool. Shoot a tussle. spot I chalked up my cue I caught a game eight ball all I want to do I broke the balls and I made the three skip on two to six don't matter much to me but someone sneezed on my back swing I missed two to six I am here with Justin Vood Good. Um, he is, we're going to chat a little bit about a pretty cool upcoming music festival. Uh, he is the uh, executive director, is that correct, at the Sanctuary at Shepherd Field? Mm -hmm. I have seen, I don't even have notes how good at this. <laughs> um, and it's in September. Um, you could probably you know much more about it than I do, but I have attended it once. It, it was a fabulous festival. I'm hoping to get there again this year. Um, and I want to make sure you all know everything you need to know to be able to get there as well. Justin, thanks for coming by. Thanks for inviting me, Mark. You bet. 
Um, so I, I saw, I don't know if it's, it's officially released, but I saw a little bit of a lineup. It's yeah. looking good. Yeah. It's, we're, we have uh, two stages this year, so it's a little bigger, slightly more compact sets, but incredible spectrum of local and regional talent. Um, for folks who don't know about it, it is a solar powered music festival, it's the fifth annual at the sanctuary, which is a 40 acre land preserve held in trust by a nonprofit. And, uh, and that's uh, Haddam? It's in East Haddam. East Haddam. Yeah. Okay. And we're chartered to promote environmental education and kind of alternative spiritual practice practices, interfaith tolerance, understanding, that kind of thing. It's, that's not a bad thing to, uh, to get behind. And it, it's a wonderful, wonderful area. Um, the one time I was there, I did enjoy. I walked the grounds a bit, and visited the yurt. And it was it was very cool. And offered some theremin, which was really excellent with Chris Grass. One of the few times a theremin has been unleashed on an unsuspecting public. Yes. yes. But it was a ball with uh, Chris and Mike from uh, Womb of the Desert Sun. That's right. That was fantastic. That two yeah. years ago, I think. Yeah. So it's the fifth annual. Bochum Road, always a main a fixture. They they, are they've good. been kind of with us since the beginning. Bruce Thorndike, I know he's been on your show. He might have been on this very stage you're sitting was. at. Yeah, bunch of other great singer songwriters uh, in that vein. It's an incredible lineup, all ages, um, rain or shine, um, picnicking, hula hooping, drumming, um, lots of fun, dunk tank. Uh, we're going to have vendors. Who will be in the dunk tank? Whoever wants to go in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Won't be me. <laughs> all right. Well, I appreciate you coming down, filling in all these folks on that. I, I can vouch for it personally that it, it is an awful fun way to spend a day, and you're going to be surrounded by amazing beauty and amazing music all day long. Yes. You can't go wrong. That's right. So tickets are uh, $20 if you buy them in advance on our website, www.oursanctuary.org, uh, or 25 at the gate. And children 13 under free. Very and nice. Dogs are welcome if they're friendly dogs. <laughs> they're all friendly dogs, aren't they? All right. In well, thank you for are. coming by. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Hope to see you on the 20th Peace. of September. Very good. Thanks a lot. Out to get some so-called good groceries Down at the local soup store they got the GMOs, junk food, gonna eat them all up. They want me to come back and get some more. Maybe I need a little libation just to soothe my pain. The only problem is got me going back, going back, over and over again. But I still know what the deal is. I've been down too many pathways not to know. Driving the highway to a little old bar Just to play my tunes I got some real nice folks coming to join me Join me in my muse I gotta keep playing and singing I'm getting older and older, I know I'm still traveling the life way Hoping, Lord, I still got a ways to go But I still know what the deal is I've been down to Ways not to know the road that leads to the real deal is the only road I ever want to go. It's the only road I need to know. The real deal, I 
Stumbling, if you grumbling, and some ain't got nothing to say. Still believe in love, keep an optimistic view. But that ain't get too easy when I see the evil things some folks do. But I still know what the deal is. I've seen too many world ways not to know. I got one, one simple afterthought. Maybe it's just knowledge matter. Maybe I was earth taught. Always be honest with yourself and always know the deal. Cause they'll always try to slip you some crap to keep you from knowing the real deal. Then we'll all know what the deal is. We've been down. To know. Thank you once again for watching Shoreline Music Monthly. And remember, um, you are the local in the local music scene. These folks are out there playing all the time. And it is summer. There are people playing at the farm markets. There are the town greens. Get out and see a show. We're going to bring uh, Mr. Shepley out one more time. And we will see you next month. Thanks for watching.
She's helpless, seems, and so small. But she can make a mighty man grow. Lord, I'm lost and so disabled. you blind me, blind me with, with your love, and make me deaf with your light, and kiss me so I can't speak, mm -hmm. and make me deaf. Sweet. 